Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another mod spotlight. The previous one I did for the Warhammer Old Realms mod, everything new in 2024, went down really, really well. So I thought I'd start doing this for all the individual big up and coming mods for Bannerlord. And basically just take a look at everything that they've kind of been working on, keeping you guys up to date, seeing the progress. As I know, many of you actually do have lives and don't spend your entire time on mod DB looking at new updates. But I walk so you guys can run, and today we're going to be taking a look at the absolutely stunning Delata Della Guru. Of course, if you don't know what that is by my perfect pronunciation, this is the English Civil War mod overhaul, and it is shaping up to be one of the most beautiful mods Bannerlord has ever seen, from their costume design to the civilians, to the heavy armor, to the battles, to the UI, to the insane. And I will say this is definitely one of the peaks for me about the mod, is just how beautiful and the amount of attention to detail they have on their scenes. Their cities look absolutely incredible. So in 2024, we have had a handful of new information as well as a brand new Discord server that has actually just recently been set up a couple of days ago. I'll leave a link to this down below in the description. Many of you guys do follow your mods on Discord, so make sure to go ahead and join up their Discord using the link, of course, in the pinned comment and also in the description. That'll be one of the best ways to keep up to date with a mod. Besides, of course subscribing to the channel dropping a like and obviously commenting down below are you tired of getting scammed and overpaying for game accounts and currency then make the switch to el dorado where your gaming transactions are safe and secure on el dorado every seller is verified ensuring a secure trading experience plus with el dorado's trade shield protection all of your orders are safeguarded from scammers get instant access to your brought account with user-friendly features el dorado offers the cheapest currency rates on the market with delivery in just a few minutes. If you need help at any time, Eldorado has a 24-7 live support ready to assist you and with their money back guarantee you either receive your order or you get a refund. It's that simple. But don't just take my word for it. Check out the reviews and see why gamers trust Eldorado for all of their trading needs. Click the link in the description and use code JackieFish at checkout to save even more and join thousands of satisfied five gamers on El Dorado safe fast and affordable your ultimate gaming marketplace. But let's start off with the first little uh, dev diary that we do get. This was on January 15th, 2024, so pretty early on into the year. And this dev diary was basically all about the clothing. Again, a lot of the dev diaries that the team do do are more like historical uh, kind of explanations about why they've gone a certain way. So there's less and more, I guess, about the mechanics. But we do get some really nice screenshots, which you guys will be seeing on your screen right now. Again, showing off some of the city centers and all the civilian clothes. And again, talking about kind of the uh, the appropriate uh, attire that everybody is wearing. And this is one of the, I think, most neglected parts of a lot of mods is just making the world feel immersive. And with these civilian clothing, that is something that does happen uh, very, very effectively. You know, going into a city and just not seeing Bannerlord assets, seeing, you know, proper historically accurate clothes is always really, really impressive. And they go on to basically talk about the rich, the poor, the different kind of variations between that you'll be seeing the poor of course in more tattered clothes and the rich will be in all these regal colors you know kind of showing off the wealth of being able to purchase different silks and dyes and obviously all them different types of things the next dev diary we do get was uh, produced on february the 19th and this talked about the scottish and kind of the armor that they'll be wielding in the 15th century and this is a pretty interesting one because of course you know we are the main focus of the mod is on the lancasters versus york and the war of the Roses, but the map is going to be the entirety of the British Isles. And a lot of the time, I think, in your campaign, the outcome of the War of the Roses is going to be heavily relied on, you know, outside factors. You know, who the Scottish side for, side with. Adding another powerful faction in there is going to be really cool. And I hope that they do implement some mechanics, maybe like a back and forth of, you know, kind of trying to sway the Scottish to join one side or another, I think would be really cool. But in this dev blog, we do get some information about kind of the type of soldiers that the Scottish will be wielding. Right here it says that the English mainly relied on their, their men at arms supported by a lot of longbows. That was kind of their standard battle formation. Whereas the Scottish in the lowlands at least because it is split up between the highlands and the lowlands they'll have kind of different soldiers in Scotland rely heavily on the pike. You know that's going to be their main weapon of choice is going to be these longer spears. 
and of course heavier men at arms we get some really nice images again of the armors that they're going to be wielding and also their kind of historical counterparts to go and show that it is very grounded in history and we even get a nice little look at some of the weapons that they're going to be using again it looks really really nice then we finally get the most recent dev blog that was posted a couple of days ago actually from when this video is being released uh, giving us a nice little update on the progress of the mod talking about the development team and everything else so they go ahead and mention that development has been pretty slow recently uh, but they wanted to go ahead and address as many concerns from the community as possible basically stating that a lot of the kind of heavier leadership of the dev team had massive hardware issues with pcs dying or encountering problems that kind of really dampened the amount of support that they could do to the mod and then on top of that just basically complaining about the general theme of the banner lord tools having crashes and certain scenes and just not being able to nail down the coding side of the mod so they're just not happy with where that is right now which is unfortunate to hear because again we want to see this mod succeed as much as the next person and hearing that they're having issues outside of their control is always obviously pretty frustrating however with that we do also get a beautiful uh, new screenshot of all the different artworks that they've gone ahead and designed for the skill system looks really really nice i also actually really like how they've gone ahead and uh, taken taking out the focus points from it and as you add a focus point it then adds that little uh, kind of section to it i think that's a nice little unique way of making it feel very different whilst also keeping it quite similar and again the actual art itself is beautiful so whoever designed that did a great job after that they then also talk about kind of the current state of the mod and this is pretty promising i will say even with all their issues they're doing a great job so concerning england we have finished the last touches on character assets that's obviously basically everything that characters are going to be wearing the look of them etc the lords and the settlements of the map so that's again kind of suggests that the majority of the you know campaign settlements are all down or all of them are pretty much done all the lords are implemented the historical ones the random ones etc and they're all wearing appropriate gear they're also working on implementing more siege scenes which again i think is where this mod is going to be shining the how beautiful their, their city designers are like the people making the 3d scenes are incredible they've done so many beautiful ones and i think just going into cities is gonna be just yeah mind-blowing you're gonna go into a city not expecting much and it's just this huge metropolis and it, yeah it's gonna look absolutely beautiful and if they can make them more into scene scenes a uh, siege scenes it's gonna be great you know that's gonna be an awesome way to experiment with them um, and maybe they can do some other stuff with sieges as well to make kind of more use of the city i think will be really really cool they're also looking to go and bring in more various cultures through the mercenaries such as the scots the germans and of of course the french all with their own custom gear they're also developing more custom ambience and battle music as well which again is great having that kind of theme the appropriate music it is so important and key to the mod itself and they've also implemented a new system to help create and customize your own coat of arms and livery for your troops so again you're going to be able to create your own custom kind of uh i guess sigil and that's going to actually appear on a lot of your soldiers so the heraldry is going to be there again kind of giving you that idea that you are a a lord and then finally they mentioned they have also tried to overhaul the ui as much as possible to fit the medieval period again i think stuff like we saw in the character skill level up is going to be a clear indication and then they do also move on kind of again saying that they're just not happy of how well they're proceeding with the uh the dedicated coders so far like they're just not kind of making as much ground as they as they would like to so again this is a call out if you have experience in coding i know coding is such a hot uh, a commodity in modding and you know people get snapped up like hotcakes but again if you do want to help out this project they are desperately looking for new coders and they are also again looking for uh, scenes and their implementation so if you have any skills in there even if you work on another mod they're happy to as they mentioned trade resources and help out each other so please do reach out to them again using their new discord link down below in the description and then we also finally get a look this is going to be the last real thing that we get to see is the early matchlock handgun model again looks really cool going to be very interesting to see that implementation in it because of course handguns were very very early on here during this period but it's awesome to go and get all 
all of these updates. I also would have been playing in the background one of the Newcastle scenes. I'll have that on the screen right now. This was uh, uploaded about four months ago. And again, looks absolutely incredible. This is what I'm talking about of just how good everything does look. And then you guys also would have been seeing some of the battle scenes that was done last year. Um, so that is a little bit older than the newer one. So that's not technically 2024. But, you know, it gets a point with some background images. Whereas what you're seeing right now is going to be more recent. And again, showing off Newcastle, it looks great. And again, this is what they wanted to kind of do for all the major cities in England to kind of give you that representation. You're going to go in, you're going to be immersed. Everyone's going to be in custom uh, custom clothing. Everyone's going to be having the cool music and the ambient sounds. It's just going to be, yeah, a really, really awesome experience all over. And it's going to make you feel like you're not playing Battle Lord, which I guess is always a great thing. But that is going to do it for the, uh, the video today. That is basically everything new with the English Civil War mod in 2024. It seems like hopefully with the new addition of their Discord, they're going to be a bit more active in posting stuff. I think everybody just loves to see the progression of the mod. And it's also a great way of getting more support for the team as well. You know, people will see their Discord, people, uh, you know, will see more of the stuff that they're posting and be more likely, hopefully, to follow the project and, uh, yeah, give any support that they can to it because it is an awesome project. It looks amazing. And I personally just can't wait to go and play it. So if you guys enjoy these styles of videos, please be sure to drop a like and a comment down below. It lets me know that you want to see me do more of these. I was thinking of maybe doing one for the Japan mod as they've recently dropped a lot of stuff and it's not always like on their YouTube channel. You know, a lot of the stuff they do post is on their Discord and I know people just don't always follow that type of stuff. You know, they always either check ModDB or YouTube, etc. But they do post a lot on their Discord. So I think it'd be a great way of just kind of going through. So if you guys want to see that next, let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one. And finally, do not forget to check out Eldorado using the link down below in the description and of course, code Jackie Fish.